हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस आइगन वैल्यू हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस विच इज अगेन आस्किंग द गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इज अ वन मार्क्स सो इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल वंस यू हैव थिंक अबाउट दैट द आइगन वैल्यू ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स ए इज गिवन टू यू एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड दिस वन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर आर द सो मेनी वेज यू कैन सॉल्व इट बट आई टेल यू द शॉर्टकट मैथड इज देयर वट इज दैट रिमेंबर दैट दिस इज द ट्रेस ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स भी सो रिमेंबर द ट्रेस ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स ए is always be the trace of the a raised to power n provided make sure that provided these two eigen values uh, eigen vectors are linearly independent and you can see that the product will be zero so they are linearly independent are there or they are the distinct are eigen values are distinct so that so you can see what is the value of the a plus d that is 1 minus 1 is zero so this value will be a zero be okay now the question is how you can find a b and c all of you know that if you have uh, the distinct eigen values then you can write this matrix as p inverse of here as this is the diagonal entries of p what is the p is p is nothing but my this value root 3 by 2 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and root 3 by 2 you can substitute here and you will get the right answer but that is not the shortcut you can think about that can i write this in form of the cos sin minus cos and sin if yes then you can easily find the a raised to power n is nothing but here you can directly write this value the sum of this all these values are of lambda 1 plus here plus of this sin of 2 theta that's a simple rule behind that or you can say this a raised to power n matrix it can be written in the form of a cos square plus b sin square this and here is a minus b sin into cos this is again a minus b sin into cos and here is a sin square and b cos square so you can substitute the value of the angle here you will get the right answer so if you compare them what is the angle is 30 degree so either you can substitute here but since we need the uh, we need the sum of all this element what is the lambda 1 and lambda 2 these are the eigen value so you can see these are my zero this is my 2 this is sin of 60 degree what is the sin of 60 degree root 3 by 2 so what is the root 3 by 2 of 2 that is nothing but root 3 so you have to write up to the two decimal places right answer is 1.c3 either you can substitute here that's the same thing are here either you can substitute directly in this formula you will get the same answer irrespective of the value of the n so make sure that you have to firstly write in terms of this you can see these are the orthogonals are there so make sure these are the orthogonal then only you can apply this simple rule i hope you can remember this for this for your future examinations best of luck students